Fatima. I'm your host, Fatima Sisse. So tell me, what made you want to become an actor? Uh, just the humanitarian part of it, you know, just knowing what, is, what it means to uh, live truthfully in the moment. And acting lets me play this whole different range of emotions and characters. And uh, I'm, I get to portray people in, in situations like this. You know, people uh, walk around with their daily life putting a mask on. Mm -hmm. And uh, not often do we feel their pain or their struggle, what they're going through. And to be able to portray it and live in their shoes and live their life, you know, I get to bring these characters to life. Stay tuned, viewers. Next, we have brand new music from Christian rapper Zelos. Zelos is a praise and worship leader at the Winners Chapel International in New York and the CEO of the indie record company, Most High Entertainment Records. The song is called Big Big God. Hope you enjoy. dancing and praising God in times like these. It's now time for our issues, views, and review segment where I bring you updates on issues affecting Africans in the diaspora. <laughs> How would you sum up his legacy? Well, I think his legacy is, A, we need to appeal to people of, all, of goodwill across the racial lines exactly. to come together. That's an important thing. We need to try to uh, stop violence uh, against others, you know, to stop the violence in our communities hmm. and, and to respect each other. I think that's another one of his points. We need, if we're going to make change, we need to create alliances. We can't do it all by ourselves. We've got to work with others. We need a larger take on the world. We need to believe in not just power, but justice. <laughs> Africa, what country in Africa is what? Leading producer, produces oil the most. 
Africa. My question today is, America secured a land in Liberia to grow a major cash crop, which boosted the Industrial Revolution. Which cash crop was it? Was it drugs? Some kind of drugs? Let's take a look at Panelist's Taste of Africa event series, where Africans in the diaspora meet to mingle, explore African cuisine, and just unwind. Enjoy. <laughs> go for food, drink, and dance in one outing. Here in New York City, they go to Palace, a Taste of Africa event too. Here, they mix and mingle with a diverse group of professionals, including entrepreneurs, socialites, and professionals. Today, we're taking you to the latest event at Taj Lounge in the city. Here's what the attendees had to say. I'm from Cameroon. Okay, is this your first Taste of Africa event? No, I've been to maybe 10 by now. Wow, so how was the one last year? All of them have been great. I went to one actually this year as well. I came to support the panel event. It's a festival, it's, a, it's, a, it's two prongs. The festival is a mixer. So we come to a food festival where we try some African food and then also mix and network with people within the New York area. The food is always good. I always come for the moi moi. That's all I eat. I don't care about anything else but moi moi. <laughs> it's a mixture of an American dish and Nigerian dish. So this is sea bass and this is moi moi with plantain. It's so good. Why do you like it? Because it's so soft and it tastes like heaven. <laughs> it's grounded beans um, with mixed flavors to, and then it's cooked and hardened um, for taste. And then plantains, obviously. Fried plantains is a, is a traditional um, Caribbean Nigerian dish that you use to compensate the food. What brings you to the event every year? Well, there's not too much for the Af African diaspora here. And so I come here to eat African food that I, I'm too lazy to cook. And I come to dance, and that's about it. And Who is this with you today? This is my boyfriend, Malik. He's an ordained African. <laughs> she brought me, but you know, I, I like the atmosphere. I love being around Africans, you know, our people, and you know, I enjoy the food, I enjoy the music, and overall, it's a great time, you know, me and my baby. So I know that the goal of, you know, the Taste of Africa is to bring people of all works of the world together. How successful is it in doing so? It's looking good. It's very successful. He's been doing this, Akin has been doing this for a long time. And um, I've always heard about it, but I've never really come so until I came to the first event and now I'm here at the second event. And I think I'll continue to come because I've gotten to meet a lot of people through this event. Not just people from Nigeria, where I'm from, but people from other parts of Africa, like South Africa, Cameroon, and Liberia. I think it's very nice. First of all, today happens to be my birthday. So when my friend invited me, I just decided to come and have some fun. I think events like this are really great, um, and it's also good to support ourselves. Um, we get to meet a lot of people at events like this, so it's always good. So keep it coming. There are actually two um, designers upstairs, and one of them I know that decided to do this event, Spur of the Moment, because of the exposure to a whole different demographic. You never know where the connections might come about until you start a conversation. You know, even if they're American, they're African American, you know, we, we were all one uh, continent before we branched off, before the continents branched off. So, you know, we're all from each other. When we unite as a people around our African roots, we will develop then the new civilization that the world really needs and we'll be world leaders. And that is why we're missing. Well, that's our show for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Join us again next time as we uncover more stories from the diaspora. Also, please follow us on Twitter at Inside Diaspora and like us on Facebook as well. For inquiries about having your adverts on the show, please contact us at sradverts at sahararreporters.com. Thank you for watching again. See you next time.